Hi everybody, Levi Clay here, and today I'm gonna to do a question and answer video. I'm gonna answer one of the age old questions that I get several times each year on my YouTube channel when people watch me play this Telecaster. I'm often asked, Levi, what is that thing on the back of your Telecaster? What tele model is that? What is this? Why is it there? What does it do? <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's a very simple story and it means that I get to talk about one of my favorite guitar players, Mr. Danny Gatton. So Danny, one of the great Telecaster players, has a hell of a lot of attitude on the instrument and kind of toes the line between country and jazz and rockabilly and lots of blues influences in there. Just a fabulous player, well worth checking out and uh, actually taught Joe Bonamassa for a while and when Joe goes into Danny mode, that's when I really like Joe. Anyway, so Danny played many instruments in his life, uh, but most notably, he played, owned, and loved a 1953 Fender Telecaster. And when you watch footage of him playing that guitar, he had one of these on the back. And I had no idea what it was. So I had to do my research in order to find out what the hell this thing was. And it's what, what he called, I was gonna say what's known as, but how can it be known as anything? He invented the thing. When Danny was a younger man, he really liked the idea of pushing technical boundaries and to create cool, wacky sounds. So he created a box, <clears throat> and he called it the Magic Dingus Box. And it was basically a collection of onboard effects that he could you know, access on his guitar when he was playing. So you could bring in like faux Leslie sounds and whatever. Now there's not too much information on the actual Dingus Box, which you can see pictured here. It's a crazy piece of kit by the looks of things. Uh, and it would essentially, as you can see from some of the pictures, just sit on the guitar here and he would access it like that. Now there's definitely footage of him playing his Les Paul with the magic Dingus box on there uh, in the Redneck Jazz Explosion Band. But I couldn't find I couldn't find any footage of him playing with the Dingus box on his Telecaster. But in essence, what this piece of metal is is a plate on which he would mount a Dingus box or his Dingus box. Now I don't have a Dingus box. I don't have a Dingus box, so you can probably come to the conclusion here: what this does is absolutely nothing. This is purely here for cosmetic reasons. Sometimes I like to joke and say it's there for tonal reasons and I can tap on it and make noises. None of that is true. Um, it's literally just a piece of steel which is shaped and polished in the right way. It goes around the back of the guitar, mounts on at the strap pin, and there are two holes in it which I have drilled holes into the body of the guitar to mount these two rivets. So those are two rivets that actually do stick out. That's really all there is to it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in a clip of Danny just briefly talking about this. This is part of the footage for the upcoming Humbler movie, which is a movie on Danny and his life, so check that website out. But yeah, interesting to hear Danny's perspective on things. bridge plate made out of stainless steel. The uh, production models will be considerably better looking than this one. My father made this for me a few years ago to mount my Magic Dingus box, which is like Les Paul's pulverizer, but I don't use it anymore. People say, would you drive nails on the top of that thing for? But it's not really a nail, it's just a rusty rivet sitting there to hold that box. And there's a little notch going out here. So when you play So really it is as simple as that. This is very much a thing that is a tribute, a tip of the hat, if you like, to a big influence on me as a player. This just in general is a Danny Gatton telecaster to me. I've got the Joe Barden pickups in there and I've got the the dingus plate on there. So, you know, it screams Danny Gatton to a Danny Gatton fan. Uh, which, you know, I love. So that's why I've done that. And ultimately, you know, they wouldn't actually release this uh, mounting plate on the signature Danny Gatton Telecaster, but they did have it on the prototype and it was such an important part of his guitar to him that he absolutely did play guitars other than the 53 Telecaster with one of these placed on there. Now, you can I can say confidently in the footage that you can see on screen now, there is no way in hell that that guitar ever had a Dingus box ever mounted to it because the problem with the Dingus box was it got to the point where he had all of these tricks that he could do with the guitar and make all of these weird sounds and he got a bit of a reputation uh, because Danny was an incredible guitar player and he could really, really play. But people would start to get this twisted idea in their head, well, ah, he's only good because he's got all of those magic Dingus tricks that he can do. And people even started calling him Danny Gadget. Uh, so when that kind of name got around, it became apparent that 
the dingus box wasn't something Danny really wanted to do anymore and he wanted to you know just rely on a telecaster plugged into an amp so that's the story that's all there is to it this is a worthless piece of steel placed on my guitar to pay tribute to one of my absolute heroes. Now, if you want to find out more information about this, what I would recommend doing is checking out the gentleman that made this for me and an expert on all things Danny Gatton. In fact, he's bought, built many replicas of Danny's 53 Telecaster. And that man is a gentleman by the name of Carson Hess. Carson Hess. He made this for me, um, so big thanks to him. He makes some incredible instruments, and you know, at some point in my life, I see me owning one of his wonderful Telecasters. Uh, he really is the man for all of this kind of stuff, so go and check him out. He's a nice guy. I like him a lot. Anyway, finally, I just want to say a huge thank you to these people over here. These are my supporters over on Patreon. Um, I'm just waving the Telecaster around a little bit more. Um, yeah, these guys keep these videos coming to you. Um, look at that. It's beautiful. <laughs> Most people look at it and go, it's ugly, why is that there? But to me, I see that and it's just an instant, oh cool, Danny Gatton, you like Danny Gatton. If I saw this on anyone else's guitar, you know, I, would, I know that I could wander over to them and shake their hand and say, you know, we've got stuff that we have in common, we can talk. Um, anyway, so thank you guys for, you know, helping make guitars like that or that plate happen. I've had this guitar long before I was on Patreon, but that plate is very new to me. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, guys. If you'd like to check me out on Patreon, you can do so by clicking this button up here. You can subscribe by clicking this button down here, and you'll see two more videos here and here. As always, thank you so much for the support, guys. And if you have any questions about this, hit me up in that comment section. Happy to get back to you. Much love. Bye.